the Ukrainian president said that the Russian party had not given a draft document on the peaceful resolution of the conflict. In response to a reporter's question, he said that he not only hadn't seen any proposals from Russia but was also convinced that the proposals didn't exist. I'm sure there's nothing offered to us by them, Zelensky said. I played soccer pretty well. The rules of the game are, there must be two teams and you must have a ball. It seems to me that Peskov is playing soccer with himself here. We will show how we kick a goal as soon as we are given the ball," Zelensky added. The day before, the Kremlin announced that it had provided Ukraine with a document as part of the peace talks. Mikhail Podolyak, the advisor to the head of the presidential office, later said that the position of the Russian Federation was being studied in Bankova. The day before, the British Prime Minister said that he believes negotiations with Russia on ending the aggression in Ukraine are doomed to failure. The politician compared talks with the Russian president to negotiations with a crocodile when it clings to your leg. The Prime Minister, in a speech on a flight to India, said Putin could only try to negotiate in serious talks if he succeeded to seize a significant part of Ukraine. But he also warned that the Russian president might try to launch a new assault on Kyiv now. How can you negotiate with a crocodile if it has your foot in its mouth?" The British Prime Minister said. He said Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky adopted a maximalist attitude about his desire to regain territory seized by Russia in eastern Ukraine. He said Zelensky was open to negotiations over Crimea, which was annexed by Putin's troops in 2014. The Prime Minister told reporters, Ukrainians should determine their future, nothing should be decided in Ukraine without Ukraine. However, I think it is very difficult to understand how the Ukrainians can negotiate with Putin now. So I do not understand how the Ukrainians can easily agree to some kind of deal," the Prime Minister concluded. Meanwhile, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuliba warned that Ukraine will not cede territory in any negotiations with Russia as Moscow intensifies its offensive in the east. We will not allow the Russian army to remain in the territories that have been occupied since February 24, which are absolute red lines," Kuliba said.